Hi guys and welcome back to another Gumpler TV review. This is Kaede Agatsuma Kaiden. We have seen her before as Kaede Agatsuma in Megami Device and Alice Gear Aegis. However, this time we have the debut of the Ace suit and she can switch between arm mode with dedicated gear and elemental mode with just her plain arms. She comes with decals that add great contrast to the weapons, black and white instructions, redesigned faceplates, so three of them, one you put on all time obviously and then the other two you have you can change, readjusted proportions, thruster effect parts and flash effect parts for display are included, three millimeter holes for additions, she has one small sword with changeable clear parts, red and blue, two guns and the new SP Senbon Zakira, which is four cuts, is also included. Now this is me here just building the um, first part of the kit and I was up like at five this morning trying to do this and it, it, it took me till like 11 I'd say. So it is rather a lengthy kit and you can see there are a lot of runners. Obviously you have to build those legs and arms twice over. So she does also include these two ears that you can put on her and that is something that definitely makes her look a lot better. So to put them on, all you have to do is, you know, expose her head and be careful of this front bit, it's really sharp and you could actually snap it if you move her head around when, um, you know, it's not very sturdy, so be careful of that. And yeah, so then you plonk them in the top and this is her coming round now with her cat ears in. 100% better. She looks so much better like this and I wouldn't imagine anyone not using them. Now, just having a look at some of the hands, it's you've got your ones that you can use the uh, pull ball joint with, and the longer ones. And as you can see here, like I've chosen her to have the ones with the ball joint because it gives more flexibility. And this kit is so sturdy that you probably don't need to worry about you know it, her not being able to take a pose unless it's one of the big guns. So looking at her flexibility, this is just your standard Megami device uh, joints but a really great range of motion and unbelievable sturdiness. I'm so impressed by the way this, this kit can hold its weight. And even there with that massive gun, she's not, it's not falling off and it's not moving. Her arms are also, you know, really nice. They're, they hold their, um, their stance very well. And this back bit has the harness I think we've seen before, you know, with lovely blue clear parts that um, hold hold their their balance very well as well so you've also got the peg in the back that uh, goes in there all three millimeter joints hair that moves up at the back here really like that but be careful of these uh, shoulder pads which yeah here and obviously on the other side need to be glued down 100% they when you move the arm they'll pop off every time so that's a that's a must the head has a okay range of motion quite stiff but no, the the hair, even though it looks beautiful, I love it. It um, you know, it can it can knock the waist. There is very standard ball joint. It is rather stiff. Now this front bit here is just um, something that you can exchange with this bit, and what it does is it allows you to extend the legs up and down. If you don't use that, then you're going to be having trouble um, with that front bit popping off because it's just flat. That being said, if you do use this one, make sure you've got her in a pose that supports it, because otherwise it'll look a bit weird. These are the armoured legs, and uh, I'll just show you. The feet are just a very standard joint, and because it is armoured, you're not going to have so much range of motion. It is all very clunky, one big type of part. The foot can't move at all in that respect. And furthermore, you've got a knee joint, which is rather clever. It's got two points that um, it clocks into and if I pull that there there you go you can see that it's actually got two points of motion on it so it's got really good ability to bend um, albeit quite stiff now this bit doesn't move from the back but if you uh, you'll see later I flip it round and it exposes great detail so I like the, the legs moving on to the armored arms these are very standard and it's just got one bit that you click on and then 
you know, your normal pivot there. This is one of the main guns. Um, unbelievable marking details. I really like it. As you can see, it's got a muzzle that you can attach the clear effect parts into, and that really cool type of bit at the front, which is looks like it's a flamethrower. Um, but yes, this is a nice piece. Then moving on to the four cuts sword. It looks amazing with that shiny, shiny plastic. And it's very long and nice and sharp and pointy. It can go into a sheath, which is a separate piece, and it fits really nicely. I think this is a great piece, and yeah, it adds a lot. What else you can do is have it type of double layered, like here, and here on the box art you can see what it looks like. I'm not a fan, because I want to be able to put it into the sheath, you know. Here is the second gun. This one also has great detail. And you can see those back bits. I think that's for where you put the uh, ammo. Lovely panel lines there. You can pull them out and it exposes even more detail underneath. Who would have thought that they would have put little marks in there? Because that's, I mean, you're not going to see it most of the time. But yeah, that's really cool. The other sword is just very plain, but still quite nice. You know, the, I like the clear plastic, which you, which you can swap because there are two runners in this kit. And also some nice marking on the hold of the, the butt of the thing. So here she is in her elemental mode. And those legs, very, I mean, plain, but I like them. I, I think she looks a bit more sexy this way. As you can see, the, the camera doesn't really show, but that that blue is actually a little bit darker. She can hold these all these type of poses really good. Now converting her to armoured mode, you need to change these arm parts. I don't want to put them on to be honest because I think that it um, she looks better without them but I will be changing the legs to the armored mode um, but just taking a look at these panel lines on the legs it's that's why I like them compared to the clunky armor even though the armor's got great detail as you can see here now you can see here with the armor armored mode it's um, you know easy to put on she's still very stable in this mode in fact probably more so I would say so that is very impressive. When you put on that backpack with the armoured mode, it just matches. I like the, the little pink bits in the bottom of the legs that pops and matches all the other colours further up. And they do look good. I'm not I'm not 100% a fan of the armour normally, but this does work. I like the skinny arms though with this kit, so that's why I've kept them on. She can obviously hold this sword very well. And it is impressive how good the balance is and all that. One thing I would say is that uh, you want to be careful of the decals on that bit. Here is an extra bit that is like a little ship. And I've no idea what really it's meant to do. I'm, I'm sure that's part of the game. But one thing you can do is add the muscle flare onto that if you want to. You can also add muscle flare onto the weapons. And you can also, and this is really cool, those two back bits, you can make them shoot. So it's hard to get into, I tell you. But the best way is to do it from the bottom and pinch, like so. And then you can push the other one through if you can't get it out. But um, the other one has a little red piece. Looks like one of those armor containers. And that just shows that it's going to be, you know, shooting. Obviously, there are two of these. They both have the same. And you can put that muscle flare on there and then have it looking like it's a type of turret gun shooting at the back. So I like it when the back end's closed so you can see that little pink bit coming through. I think that's very cool. And it just looks so, so legit when you put them both side by side as you have two of the muzzle flares. And here she is with that ability. Oh, it's so cool. So you can have her in an attack pose and also firing at the same time. They're like little drones. And that blue clear plastic holds them perfectly. And it's not too clunky. And I just love being able to see the red detail through there and having that back end up. Also having the decals at the top there really makes it pop. Now actually something I realised when I was messing around with this uh, kit is that the leg armour pieces actually do flap open. Earlier I couldn't get it to move out, but yeah, they are on the little hinges and that's such lovely detail behind there. So I'm really impressed with that and I love it when it's flapped out like this. I think it looks really legit. 
and makes her seem more impressive even though she's still quite a simple figure. Just being able to have her run and in those poses is really cool. You can also swap the heads to make it uh, fit with other Megami devices and you can add on muscle flare to other parts of her body with those 3mm um, joints. This gun is very heavy and I couldn't really get her to hold it so best place is it just at the bottom of her feet. Now the decals, I used quite a few of them just for the sword bits but these red bits here, now I don't think I want to use them. I would use a Gumpler marker to apply it to her. I think that's the best way. So all in all you get a lot of stuff with this kit. It's very impressive and I give it an A star. I love it. I think it's great and I would pick it up. Um, one thing <laughs> that you do get with it is this stand and nope, I am not going to be using that. So yeah, just to wrap up, I would say this is a very lovely kit. It's got so many parts, so many extra bits, and is just a joy to put together and everything. Um, it took a long time, yes, but the end result is pretty spectacular, especially when you put those decals on that really makes it pop. Um, just be very careful with the hand, the bits that are going to touch her hands. You've got to put some setter on that. I couldn't find my setter even though I have some. But that is a must, otherwise it's going to rub off, as it did with mine. So just be careful with that. But apart from that, stellar kit, amazing flexibility, amazing stability. And yeah, I'd give it a go. So thank you for watching, and see you again next time.